Why most men struggle with confidence. I'm going to give you some practical dating advice. Well, hello and welcome. My name is Erica Angelo and I'm the dating and relationship expert for 12 years who I've been helping men become the kind of man that she can't resist while not losing yourself or her. But why is this? Why do so many men struggle with confidence? Why do I have clients who are good looking, who have great careers, who have great bodies, but yet still feel so insecure on the inside? Well, there's a couple of reasons and we're going to talk about why those reasons are there and what you can do as a man to radically transform that so that you can feel confident on the inside without faking it. And first and foremost, let's just keep it real. A lot of men, the majority of men that you see out there who appear confident are not confident. How do I know this? Because I coach them and they open up to me and every single one of them struggle with insecurity. But here's one of the reasons why men are so not confident. Because society has told men, put all your eggs in one basket. And that basket is the basket of being a provider. You as a man, go out and make money. That's where you're going to find your confidence. But if you talk to a lot of my clients who have money, they say, I have money and I'm still not confident. I've seen some of the strongest men in business killing it in business. But when it comes to women, they're immensely insecure. They lack confidence. Why is this? Because society didn't equip men to say, listen, you have to cultivate yourself in terms of your emotions, your self-worth, loving yourself. These things that we hear about and we think, oh yeah, it's just a luxury. It's not a luxury. It's a freaking necessity. And because you don't have those things developed is why you struggle with confidence. The other reason why is what? We come from family trauma. We come from traumatic events in our life that sabotage our confidence. You may have gone through a breakup. You may have had parents who beat you down. And so a lot of men try to fix this on a very exterior level by becoming good looking, getting that haircut, changing their clothes, having this successful career, going to the gym, getting a nice car, getting the right watch. They do all these things, but on the inside, they are still frail, lost little boys who are hurting, wanting to be loved. So what do you do? My man, it is time to start going within and looking at yourself on the inside. Chances are you might be scared to look at yourself in the mirror, but let me tell you this. There is more greatness on the inside of you that you have yet to tap into. And once you tap into that greatness, women start seeing it. It is an energy. It becomes that authentic confidence that women can smell in the air. They can sniff it out. It's why you see guys who are not so good looking with beautiful women and they don't have money. It's because they have taken the time to go on a journey to figure out who the hell they are. And if you keep postponing that journey by chasing things like careers and monetary success and, and getting a ripped body, but you're not doing anything to face the man on the inside, the man in the mirror, the longer you are going to prolong your insecurity and lack of confidence. A woman wants you to not only look good on the outside, but to feel good about your inside. And that takes tremendous courage of the heart to be an emotional warrior, to get in front of a damn mirror and go, okay, buddy, what's on the inside? What are you made of? What makes you great? What sets you apart? And do you actually believe it. So I want you to right now take out a piece of paper and start writing out what are the things that make you great? What are the things that separate you from other men? What are the things that have made you su successful? Are you tenacious? Are you driven? Do you not let up? These are the things that women desire in a man, but too many times men lead with the exterior things and wonder why they can't keep a woman because you're not letting her have access to who you are, your heart, and that's what an emotional warrior does for his woman is he gives her 
access to her heart, which keeps a woman, which makes a man irresistible, is a man who can share his heart with a woman. Because, duh, that's why we're in relationships. That's why we fall in love. It's through the heart. It's not through all the exterior things that you keep devoting your time to. So it's time to wake up my emotional warrior and realize what is on the inside of you. Because there is greatness that you have yet to tap into because you've been too afraid to look inside. And I'm saying now is the time to be courageous and to look inside. And if you need my help, that's what my whole coaching is about, is about embracing and facing that emotional warrior. And you can sign up for a 15 minute call and see if what I'm offering is a good fit for you. But I tell you what, it's going to transform your life and it's going to transform your life from the inside out. And let me tell you, women want a man who's a real deal, not just an exterior package, playing along, pretending, but she wants a man that on the inside, he's a warrior, he's going to love her, he's going to have the courage to show his heart and not be afraid. Is that you? Then sign up for one of my 15-minute calls. Listen, make sure that you subscribe, and if you are an emotional warrior, tell me in the comment section below. You, my dear, you have what it takes, and in this very moment, you are already loved.